Hi everyone, it's Natasha again, and uh, I hope you're having a great day. It's Sunday, um, I just came from church, had just an amazing time there. Uh, my family is still at church, and I'm home, and it's really quiet, so I'm enjoying this uh, lazy, windy Sunday afternoon. Um, I just wanted to show you, uh, do a review of a bag that I've had for a couple of months. I, I really don't like to review a bag unless I've actually used it, so I can give you practical advice. This is the uh, Dooney & Burke Florentine Leather Cameron Satchel in Black. Uh, and like I said, I bought it a couple, maybe three months ago, maybe even four months ago. I've been using it on and off. It's not, I haven't been using it every day, but I've been using it on and off um, and enjoying it um, for a number of reasons, which I'll get into later. I'll just show you really quickly the features. Black Florentine Leather, the Leather Dooney & Burke Patch, Gold Brush, hardware, rolled handle, hand, handles here, no whip stitching, but really nice. It's got the finished edges here. It has dual zippers, zipper pulls rather, one zipper, two zipper pulls, braided zipper pulls. It has a shoulder strap, which is removable, fully removable. Um, and extendable, you can turn it into a uh, crossbody bag as well, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and inside, which I, I love what Dooney's been doing with the leather interior lately on, the, on their Florentine bags, got that leather, tan leather interior, which is so soft, the green suede trim. It has the zipper pocket on the one side. I, I never, I don't know about you, but I never use this pocket and I still have my registration card in there, but it's got that if you use it. The large slip pocket where I put my, usually put my iPhone. It's got two slip pockets on the other side. It's large, small. I use that for my sunglasses. Um, no outside pocket. So it's a great bag. It, like I said, it comes, I'm going to put the handle strap back on. It comes with an extendable handle strap. Um, I took it out. I took the extension. I'll just show it to you. The, if you add this back in, if you buckle it back into the strap, this will turn it into a crossbody bag or a larger uh, shoulder bag if you like to wear your shoulder bag with um, long handles. Um, I'll just show you what I can fit in here really quickly. It's a good medium-sized bag. Here's my Dooney & Burke uh, makeup case. My large <clears throat> Louis Vuitton wallet. I have my Hobonichi Weeks planner with a case on it. I have my Kindle. These are all things I like to carry with me. My sunglasses, can't find a case to it, but that's not a problem because with these really great slip pockets, I can slip my sunglasses into that one smaller slip pocket over here and it's pretty much protected. And my keys, which I forgot to mention, this has the standard uh, key leash that Dooney & Burke has in all of its bags and I can slip my keys in here and throw it in here and my bag is ready to go and it's it's nice it's it fits those are all the things I like to carry on a daily basis and it fits everything that I need um, so it's let me just show you what it looks like on and I like the fact that the handles fold down so that when I want to wear as a shoulder bag they don't get in my way I know there's some styles that Dooney has that they don't have full down and it kind of drives me crazy. So this is what it looks like on the body, five foot six. And I, I have it set, not at the, this is the shoulder strap option, but I think uh, there's a couple of holes. I could, you could even make this a little longer or, or shorter. I'm not, it's not all the way at the bottom or the top, uh, depending on your preference. So it's a great bag. It's with, oh, I forgot to show you the four feet on the bottom. It's got the four feet with the reinforcement forced leather. <clears throat> Uh, what I like about this bag is that it is a understated classic bag. It doesn't have a lot of bling on it, um, so you can wear, you can kind of dress it up or dress it down. Um, <clears throat> people know it's quality, but it doesn't draw attention. I just some days I just don't feel like having people, um, you know, notice my bag all the time. Just nice to have a quality, nice bag that doesn't draw a ton of attention. Um, I wish, <clears throat> excuse me, that Dooney had put a outside slip pocket here. We're in a perfect place for it between these two handles like they do on the Smith bag. Um, I find because it's a zipper bag and, um, you know, you have to close it. You can't really care. If you open it, I'll just show you. If you've got stuff in it and you, you, you're out shopping and you just throw your wallet, you pay for your stuff, you throw your wallet back in and you try to do this, it just opens. It's just, it doesn't look right. 
kind of buckles open and it's not secure. And in fact, one time I was out shopping at, at TJ Maxx and this older woman, nice older woman was like, you need to zip up your bag. Someone could go in there and steal your stuff. And she's absolutely right. So it kind of drives me crazy when my phone rings or my kids are texting me or somebody and I have, I want to, I need to check it quickly. And I've got to, you know, unzip the bag and go in there and find my phone and, you know. So it would be nice if it has outside pocket, but it doesn't. So that, I'm fine with that. The only other critique I have of this bag is that this is the second time I've had an issue with a zipper, a Dooney zipper. If you look here, see how there's like some puckering where the zipper is stitched in? Um, I find that it does sometimes my zippers catch. Um, and I have tried the wax paper trick. It doesn't really help that much. I probably should have inspected it more closely when I first purchased it and maybe exchanged it for a different one, but I didn't. I used it and I feel like once I use it, I got to keep it. Uh, it's just not fair for everyone if I'm returning it. Um, and so that's the only thing, but you know what? Juni stands by their work. So if that zipper fails, something happens with it. I've got my registration card. I can always have it repaired. I just don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. It doesn't look like it's gonna fall apart or anything anytime soon. Um, so anyway, that's my review. It's a great bag. If you're looking for a medium bag, a medium Florentine bag, this is a, a good option. It, it kind of, you know, classic shape, dome shape that uh, Dooney loves to do. And you can't go wrong with it. I hope this was helpful to you if you're looking for a bag. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and have a great week and a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks so much and God bless you.